Breaking news this morning, a Denton police officer in critical condition after being shot in the line of duty. Thank you for being with us. I'm Kara Sewell. And I'm Mark Istook. Uh, you will see some drizzle on your morning commute, by the way. So we're going to get to Greg and Lauren in just a bit. But first, we do want to bring you up to date on that officer. Chris Sadegi is where everything has unfolded this morning. Hannah Davis is at the hospital where the officer is being treated. We want to get to both of you, but let's start off with Chris. Uh, it all started with a traffic stop. That's right, Mark. And right now, the police are still here. Everything kind of began after midnight right here at this Taco Bell at University and Georgetown. It has been a long, hard night for Denton police, and it started right here with them trying to make a traffic stop for a equipment violation on a vehicle. During the course of that traffic stop, the officer was shot. Police say there was a backup officer who began shooting back at the vehicle before the driver sped off, but those suspects would be caught by Carrollton police after a chase. The uh, suspects fled the scene and the officer was transported to the hospital and uh, teletype was put out. Carrollton PD located the suspect vehicle. There was a short pursuit. The suspects were taken into custody. The officer is currently at Medical City in Denton and is in stable, uh, critical but stable condition and is being operated on right now. And those suspects also were taken to a hospital hospital because police say they also suffered some gunshot wounds when they were caught. And you heard the last update there. The officer undergoing surgery in critical condition. Denton police say they will update the situation at four o'clock. But we have Hannah Davis at Medical City with an update there. Yeah, good morning, Chris. We've been standing out here at Medical City Ditton. We've been watching officers come here for the last hour, just wanting to be nearby as that fellow officer is in critical condition inside. Take a look at some of the video that we got from overnight. You can see these different patrol cars coming in, and it's really just the idea of these officers, men and women, being nearby this fellow officer. This morning, of course, we do know this is breaking news happening around midnight. The only information we have at this point was that the officer was shot, is currently in critical condition, undergoing surgery. Officers with the police department said he was in critical but stable condition, but obviously, guys, critical condition is an extremely serious and uh, dangerous place to be for this officer. We're going to stay out here asking for updates from these fellow officers and really just watching them coming here to support. This is a developing story, and we will continue to follow it as it develops this morning. Back to you guys in the studio. Right, Hannah, uh, many people on social media right now sending their prayers to this officer like Cassandra here saying at Denton PD, sending prayers to the officer for good outcome, praying for you all. Now, we did live stream that press conference earlier this morning for the Denton Police Department. Many people commenting on this post, also sending their prayers to this officer and wanting to know what exactly happened. Denton PD tweeting the latest updates, letting us know how this officer is doing and going to let us know the, the latest updates because this is definitely a, a fluid situation. We're still waiting to see how this officer is doing and what exactly happened leading up to this potential shootout. You know, I know this uh, particularly hits close yeah. to home for you because uh -huh. of what your husband does. Mm -hmm. And covering these in the past, you really see um, this community rally together, these you know, band of brothers. Um, what is that like? What is the family and the friends experiencing right now? Well, it's a family for sure. In fact, driving over here, I called my husband to tell him uh, what happened. I'm sorry, I woke him up, but we did talk about this and he was just, you know, talking about when he initially joined the police department, Dallas County Sheriff's Office. He was on patrol doing traffic stops just like this. You know, when you get ready to pull somebody over, of course you call dispatch and you let them know that you're making a stop in which area you're at mm -hmm. and you also run the license plate but you only know who that car is registered to he said anytime you approach a car it's mm -hmm. a different person you don't know who mm -hmm. that person is and, and yes there is a fear factor there so i'm very curious and so is he to know what happened mm -hmm. yeah hey, uh, a sad reminder just of uh, the danger that law enforcement officers face at a routine traffic mm -hmm. stop and it happens mm -hmm. they too put often. their lives on the line yeah all right